Steve Evans, a nil-nil draw on a cool day. What did you make of that? I think two good teams cancelled each other out. I think there was a, a lot of individual battles throughout the game on the pitch. And um, that's something I think even if we'd if we had a win late, we probably should score late. But if, if we had a win, I, I think it would have been a little bit fortunate. I think we, I think a draw was for me was written all over it after 15, 20 minutes. But it was interesting at the very end when Nigel told his players to enjoy the moment. It's good. Well, it's good if you've got a promotion contender. I'm going to see this contender. The squad they've got and the manager they've got is very good. And when you hear that little quote, you think, well, we're, gonna, we're on the right track. It, it was a scrap. Do you feel you got dragged into it a bit? Yeah, I think we did. We, that's why we made the changes. We said we've, we're to a man going toe to toe. You know, if they're, they're jumping six feet, we're jumping six feet. And if they're sliding, we're sliding. But we, we forgot to play in key areas of the pitch. Hence why we introduced Jake Taylor. Hence we introduced uh, Arthur Reid. You know, you're bringing. You bring footballers onto the pitch, and um, and that's what we try to introduce. And uh, you know, there's there's certainly no fault or question about application, effort, energy. I think from either side, certainly not from me. And um, but I said to them, you know, we'll we'll have to give a lot less and, and win in other games um, because I think our efforts in, in trying to win was at the top end of the scale. But we never we never made the goalkeeper walk. We know Chris Lee is an excellent goalkeeper. Uh, we never, we never made him work. And um, when you don't make the opposition goalkeeper work, then it, then it tells you it's, it's either been a evenly contested game or you've just been rubbish. And we were rubbish, but we had an evenly contested game. What was the conditions like out there? Did that play a part? Yeah, it did. I think the, I spoke to the referee. He was here really early, and the chap, I mean, he had no issues about starting the game, but he was concerned about little areas that, that were firm. Not, not not unplayable but firm and normally in the course of a game they would run off and go but I think there is no doubt that we, could, we knew the key areas of the pitches Nigel did and we could see them and they, they become a problem for both teams it was it was difficult you see players falling over and slipping and couldn't stand up and um, so we had to deal with that as well but it's the way we look at it you know we're 10 points clear of a team that's well, three times the resources I know I've been there so he, Nigel kind of give it the old <laughs> and um, so we know but Listen, he's built a fantastic squad. It's not just his start I mean, it's his squad and his boys that are not here and his boys that are injured. Um, so we'll take the point against a team that I think will be fighting for promotion come April, May. And the positives, obviously, you've got kept a clean sheet, but the character of the squad again to go into the battles like you see. Yeah, listen, I don't, I don't question them. I've, I've said to them, if I, if I went into a battle anywhere, I would, I'd put this group amongst my, my best ever teams to be at the top end of that battle and I'd obviously put the Rotherham side that went back to back and the players in it like Big Martinez I was messaging him last night when he says a couple of penalties in the World Cup so, so players like that who give you absolutely everything um, but our players are giving us everything they're working so hard we couldn't train yesterday because of the underfoot conditions but we obviously had the boys in and done little bits but does it does that affect us today in terms of quality? If I was looking for excuses, I'd say yes, but we train really, really well the day before we know excuses. So we're not making excuses, we've just gone toe to toe. And I suppose it, if if we were trying to describe it to people that play golf, the driving off the tee was great. We turned up with all the right gear, you know, and, and we looked impressive. Um, and we went onto the green with the long wood or the long iron and then we never really putted. And that, that, that was that final third. We never really got quality out. And there'll be other days when that quality will come at the back. So um, we'll go to Portsmouth on Tuesday. We'll make lots of changes. It's still a competition I'd like to do well in. I'd love to do well in. But we'll make long, lots of changes because our real thoughts are we the FC Wimbledon in, you know, until 10 Sunday's time, something. Great. Just, just in terms of reflected on the season so far, I mean, I think if you had at the end, it seemed like it was smacking the boots. What would you say to <laughs> No, I said that. Um, yeah, because there's, when you set expectation, you know, I'm going to give you an expression. If you drive home every night and never go to the pub for a quick pint, your wife expects you to be walking in the door at that time every night, isn't she? But when you nick off and you have a little cheeky pint, the expectation's gone, isn't it? And uh, so I think I think they've got the supporters are quite, we lost one game here, we've won every other game. They'll know, we're, they'll know that their quality wasn't at its best today. But I have no, no problem, I've... I dare say it, but I've also had booze at Celtic when they've got beat the Champions League with Barcelona. So, 
because you, you set Martin and Neil set such high expectation, you think you can beat all. So we can't beat all, but what, what we will do is we'll we'll regroup and um, we'll train properly and then and we'll go down to Pompey and we'll, we'll let's see what the other boys see if they can grab the opportunity to start at Wimbledon. Just, just an award tonight as well, obviously, as a player of Scott. What's the score tonight, then, do you reckon? I, I think England have got a real chance, haven't they? I think when Brazil went out as well, and then you see Argentina lacking. They liked what we had plenty of today, later on, didn't they? They liked it a little bit. But listen, I've always said I, I, will, I will go home, and uh, my house will have England flags and England scarves, and my wife and my two grandkids, or uh, two little boys, you know, um, Joseph and James with their England tops on. And I've just got to put my Scotland top on it's in front of it. But no, nah, listen, I, I want England to win. They're, they're full of what um, this country needs. They're, they're winning the World Cup will bring more people here in every other game. So I messaged Gareth on um, two days ago. He didn't come back to me, but uh, I'm messaging good luck. Great. Thank you, guys.